gentleman from uh, California. Mr. Chairman, at this point, Chris Hill yields back. The gentleman from uh, California. Mr. Chairman, at this point, I want to yield five minutes to the Dean of the House, the Chairman Emeritus of our committee, gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Dingell. Gentleman I thank from the gentleman Michigan, I ask recognized for five minutes. I'm satisfied by to extend my remarks. Without objection. I rise first to salute the gentleman from Florida and to express to him my affection and respect and good wishes as he leaves the Congress. And also to my good friend, the chairman of the committee, Mr. Upton. I would observe, however, if anybody were to put a monument like this to me, I would bend this cane of mine over his head. This is perhaps one of the sorriest things I have seen done. It is like the mule. It has neither pride of parentage nor hope of posterity. It isn't going anywhere. It accomplishes precisely nothing. It has a series of findings which are totally unrelated to fact and don't mean anything and don't help us with the problems before us. It is a piece of legislation which was adopted by this Congress with the full support of all of my Republican friends over there who are now shying away from their parentage of the basic legislation. And I say to my Luddite friends, this is not going to accomplish anything. I would point out to you, it isn't going to pass the Senate. It isn't going to be signed by the president. It doesn't address any of the problems that are before us. It grandfathers everybody in and says there will be nothing new. But what does it really do? It hurts our efforts to see to it that we are able to remain competitive in high-tech new energy undertakings, which are the hope and the future of this country. That's what it does. That's why if I were on that side of the aisle, I'd have a red face. And I would point out that this, this proposal was backed by my Republican friends, led by Mr. Barton, supported by my dear friend, Mr. Upton, and all of my good Republican friends. All of a sudden, they find that Solyndra has, has lost money and has gone bankrupt. Why? Because the Chinese knocked the bottom out of the market for solar panels. Why? A governmental economy has killed another American industry. The future of this country is to compete in high-tech jobs, in the new kind of undertakings where we can whip the world. But there is a major capital problem for those companies, and they will not prosper, and this country will not prosper unless we provide mechanisms to see to it that they can do the things they did. The Oversight and Investigations Committee has had no end of hearings on this, has thrown subpoenas around like popcorn at a circus, but they haven't found anything. And the co committee has brought forward this curious, miserable, hopeless piece of legislation in, this, in the expectation that it's going to do something. And that something is, of course, to try and help my Republicans with their election campaign. Now, this is a laudable thing if you're a Republican. But if you're an American, this is not helping our country, and this is not benefiting anybody. What the result of this legislation is, is more wasted time on the floor of the House. What my Republican colleagues won't admit to you is this is the sorriest session of the Congress in history. I think it outranks the do-nothing 80th Congress. And that was a session where we accomplished precisely nothing in this great body. I would observe to my dear friends that if you want to do something, let's get down to deal with jobs. Let's get down and deal with the economy. Let's work to see to it that we address our foreign policy questions and the problems that the United States faces. Let's complete a budget. Not a thing of that is done. I heard that this particular session this Congress has done 60 bills. And when I walk over, I always ask my staff, which post offices are we naming today? That's what we have done. If you're looking for a record of accomplishment, look in the Senate, which is the cave of the winds, which usually does very little. But they are putting us to shame because they are in fact legislating. While we are over here dithering around with a nonsensical piece of legislation that accomplishes nothing except to try to vindicate a failed investigation where 
Subpoenas were thrown around like rice at a wedding. I say it is time for us to buckle down if we're going to go out of here with some pride in our faces and with our heads held up. Let's go out with a piece of legislation that accomplishes something. This accomplishes nothing except to make a few people who couldn't do their job feel good. So my counsel to the House is, let's vote this nonsense down. Let's decide that we are going to do something right around here for a change, even though it's late in the session. I yield back the balance of my time. Well,